So this video will be just a little different than ones I've done in the past. Um, this last winter, I decided to take my pack mule Sally, which I've had for about six or seven years now. I believe she's about 13, and she's just been a pack mule her entire life. So I decided that I want to be able to ride her in the mountains, just for versatility's sake. I reached out to a good friend of mine, Colleen, and asked her if she would help me train her to be able to ride. Colleen trains horses, her and her daughter. Um, they graciously offered to assist me, sort of teach me how to do it. And what you'll see in this video is, is just some snippets I've taken along the way. Uh, you know, I wasn't really intended to film this at the time, but I did take a few little videos at different points along the way, different rides. This started out in about February, riding her at the indoor arena. What you're watching here is my very first ride on Sally. As you can see, she did really good. Um, she did buck on the second ride, um, but it was mainly because I tried switching saddles. So um, I tried putting my main riding saddle that I ride on my horse on her, and it didn't fit her very well. And I went ahead and tried to ride her anyhow, and she did not tolerate it. Um, but I did find a, uh, I had a saddle that fit her. Uh, outfitted it with a britchin uh, to sort of keep it in place and uh, as you can see she took to it really well um, a little bit sensitive she's she's a bolter not a bucker which is sort of nice and uh, in general she's um, you know I don't have a lot of experience with riding mules but she just seems to catch on really quick and you know really uses her brain and and did well you know she just there's just things she doesn't know uh, that she's got to learn so Sit back. We spent the first uh, probably month and a half, six weeks or so in the indoor arena. There. Good, that was better. After you circle this one, change direction, like figure eight. Good. Try. back up a couple steps. Just hold her. Hold her a little bit. Move your feet. You gotta move your feet. There. Good job. back up. Wow, look at you go.
between groundwork and riding. I got about 10 rides on her total in the indoor arena before we finally went outside for the first time. Still a little bit of snow on the ground. <laughs> first drill right on Sally. The first couple rides on the trail, I just put her behind the other horses. Um, we had a pretty good little group of friends that we would go out and trail ride two to three times a week and just sort of let her follow along when she was comfortable. Not real different than what she was doing in a pack string, uh, following behind my riding horse. She took to it really well, really no, no major issues out on the trail. This is Mule Skinner Joel Mathers, first ride on Sally. He uh, drank a half a Crown Royal and covering this mule like it's nothing. <laughs> and he seems happy about it. Yeah, not bucked off yet. Yeah. Sally seems in good spirits. One good thing is the snow's deep enough that if Joel does fall off, he's gonna be all right. By mid-April, I, you know, we're probably up to ride number 20 now on her and uh, snow's melted and ground is pretty wet and soppy. And um, one of the things that's been really nice about breaking her to ride is since she's been a trail mule for pretty much her whole life or a pack mule you know things like mud and mud puddles and and water crossings down logs she just takes them with with ease i mean she's so used to doing that already that um some of those little hiccups that you get when you start a young horse that's never experienced that you know she just it was a non-issue for her she just goes right through it she's so sure-footed you know i found that uh, I felt the safest on her on some of the steepest, nastiest spots um, that we went on. Um, we did take her cross country and leave the trail a little bit like we like to do on our trail rides. And, and when we were going down st steep hill sides or in down timber and things like that, um, I had a friend sort of riding a young horse at the same time and it was sort of freaking out and, and, and not handling that very well. I felt the safest on Sally <laughs> in those situations because she was just so sure footed and and I knew she wasn't going to do anything to hurt herself. So sort of the, the capstone event was uh, in May, we went down and helped a friend gather cattle off of uh, the breaks. And it was, it's really steep country. We gathered about 4,000 acres uh, down there. And I took Sally and, and my horse both. Um, it, it wears a horse out in a day gathering in that kind of country. And so on the second day, um, I ended up taking her out and gathering strays and she just did absolutely phenomenal in the big open country, um, gathering cows. Um, she's actually fairly cowy. Once she figured out what we were doing and what I was trying to ask her, um, she just stuck to those cows um, like glue. And um, I brought in, brought in stray pairs back to the ranch on her and she just did phenomenal. Since then, the rest is sort of history. I've been continuing to ride her all sum summer. I haven't kept track of you know what number of ride we're on now but I'm guessing it's well into the you know the 40s or, or maybe even the 50s she continues to impress me you guys uh, hopefully will see me on her a few times here this fall I'm not quite sure she's she's one hell of a pack mule so it's hard to pass that up um, you know she always has a place there but being able to ride her as well would be really nice a little bit of behind the scenes stuff of, of what I'm doing in the off season I've got a couple of young horses too that I'm working with, uh, bringing up through the ranks that hopefully uh, you'll start seeing here soon. If you guys like this kind of stuff, uh, leave me a comment. I'll make a few more of them. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, this content, a little different than my normal stuff. But if you like it, please leave me a comment below and uh, will help me figure out you know what type of stuff you like seeing going forward. Thanks for watching.